I've designed a burr puzzle called Sweet 16 because it's got 16 steps to remove the first piece. It takes 10 to remove the second piece, and it might be harder to remove the second piece than the first piece. But there are seven pieces in total, and the goal is to remove all the pieces and eventually be able to put them uh, all back together again. This is designed for the average puzzler, and I'm calling this a self-documenting burr puzzle, and I'll explain that in a, in a second here. It's quite common for people to take these puzzles and take them apart and not be able to put them back together again. There's quite a few different combinations of all the parts. Here are the seven parts. The three plates can be in any one of four different positions. That means the plates could be in 64 different combinations. Each of those green pieces can be rotated four times or put end over end, so you've got eight different positions for each of the green pieces. That gives over 3,000 different combinations that they can be in. So it can be quite challenging to put these together. So for many puzzles that uh, I build that uh, are from the public domain or that I've designed, I try to make them self-documenting if they're designed as take-apart puzzles or disassembly puzzles. And I'll show you how I've done that here. I put a, a row of icons for each of the four green pieces that you can see there. And each of the pieces has the same symbol embossed as to its location. So for the diamond, that goes in the third position from the left as you're looking at the video. And that will tell you that startup position. Now, I've also put holes in the plates so you know the position of where those plates go. There's one, two, or three, and you simply line those out underneath each other, and that's the position that those three plates should be in. The third plate comes apart, and so there's a little notch at the bottom as well to show how that bottom piece should be attached. And I can attach it with screws here using uh, a heat insert or I have a, a version where you can just screw it into plastic or you can just glue it if you don't have screws. So there's a number of different versions of that plate, third or bottom plate. Now can't go that way, look at the notch at the bottom. So the first uh, the first chore is to assemble this puzzle and line up those green parts appropriately. Now you'll see they're all backwards, but that's because we're going to flip those around before we put them in the top plate. So we'll put them in all their positions, but we're really only going to put them just in the first two top plates. And usually it's not too difficult to do that. To put them in all three, of course, you'd need to know the solution. So. We'll take that first piece and insert it in the, in the top plate. And then we'll bring the second plate under and work that through into the right position. And usually that's not too difficult. And I'm not going to show all the steps here because this is part of the solution, but I'll show you how to put a couple of these pieces in. But you shouldn't find it too difficult to put those four pieces in. You might have to manipulate the plates a little, shift them left and right. But this is not going to give you the overall solution. So we're going to put those two pieces in, and eventually you're going to be able to put in all four of those pieces in those top two. It might take a little while, but it's not too tough. Because that third plate is a two-part plate, you can then just put that around the bottom in the proper position. You don't have to work it in. And you can screw that in or glue it in. If you glue it in, of course, you've only got one shot at it. The screws are nice because it generally takes four or five times to take it apart before you learn the puzzle and can put it together yourself. That's the Sweet 16 puzzle. You can build your own using the link in the description, which has all the STL files that you'll need.